At the start of a war in Foxhole, both sides start with basic rifles, grenades, and other miscellaneous equipment. As the war progresses, new technology, or tech as we call it in Foxhole, is researched and new guns, vehicles, artillery, naval ships, production buildings, and logistics equipment is unlocked for players to make and use. Tech in Foxhole progresses by collecting special resources and submitting them to the engineering building to be researched. I will go into more detail about this towards the end of the video. What I mainly want to talk about during this video is what day everything gets researched and when players can start using these researched items. With help from the community, I was able to gain access to intelligence channels from both factions that covered when specific tech was researched. I was able to compile data from the last 10 wars. I dove deep into these Discord channels to track down the exact days when key tech and items were researched in the game. After connecting the dots and verifying the details, I finally uncovered the precise timelines for when crucial tech advancements occur. We are going to go through each day of a foxhole war and I will tell you what day specific tech gets researched and unlocked. Let's start with day one of a foxhole war. On day one of any given foxhole war, nothing is researched or unlocked. Both sides start with basic rifles and grenades as I noted earlier. There are no vehicles or artillery unlocked at this time. Some players love this time during the war because they are not constantly getting hit by artillery or run down by armored cars or tanks. A lot of players refer to this as the stick and stone age because every fight is fought with this basic equipment. After a war has been going on for 24 hours, new items become unlocked. On day two, both sides have bayonets, concrete mixers, smoke grenades, medical uniforms, basic armored cars, and push guns unlocked. It should be noted at this time that research for both factions does not occur at the exact same time. Sometimes wardens are a few hours ahead of the colonials, and sometimes the colonials are a few hours ahead of the wardens. There are a few factors that come into play when things get researched for each side. One of the most important factors is the tech materials that are gathered. Each faction will normally have dedicated players who gather up these tech materials and submit them to the engineering buildings to speed up the research time. Another factor that comes into play for tech is population for each faction. If a faction has a lower population than the other faction, the research will actually keep pace with the faction that has the higher population. It wouldn't be fair for the faction that always has the higher population to always have things researched at a faster rate than the other faction. This is a very brief summary of how research and technology works in Foxhole. Again, I will get into more detail towards the end of the video about this. Let's get back to the timeline on when things are researched. On day 3 and 4 is when we normally see AI defense machine gun pillboxes, sledgehammers for gathering materials, colonial tankettes, and gunboats for both factions. As a player that mainly does Lodgy, I'm always excited for the sledgehammers to get teched. I honestly wish sledgehammers teched a little sooner than this. As I mentioned before, with tech, the exact time when things are researched for both factions can vary by several hours. So sometimes the tech is on day 3, and sometimes it bleeds into day 4. While doing my research, I noticed that wars with lower populations on both sides saw tech come out a lot faster. So for this example, if there were less players playing for a particular war, it would come out closer to day 3. And if there were more players playing, it would come out closer to day 4. I was able to gather population data from Foxhole stats and compare it against when things were researched. Now day 5 is a big research day in Foxhole. Dry docks, 120mm artillery, and facility tier 2 buildings come out consistently on this day. This is the day a lot of players start getting frustrated with the game because they are constantly being hit by artillery shells on the battlefield. Don't bother healing me. Save it for someone else. Oh my god, what is Robert. Give him a little salute. Yeah. Oh shoot, how do you salute? I totally forgot. <laughs> We also see on this day anti-tank rifles and RPG weapons that come out for the Wardens, and the Colonials also receive their Lunaire grenade launcher on this day. Sometimes the devs shift around items in the tech tree on when things can get researched. We see this a lot with infantry weapons like rifles and submachine guns, which is why in this video I don't touch on those very much. They are constantly being researched on different days because the devs are constantly moving them around on the tech tree. Another example of tech that gets shifted around is Dragon's Teeth. Dragon's Teeth are primarily built as a defense structure to block tanks. From my research, I saw dragon's teeth shift around a lot. Sometimes they came out on day 5 or 6, and sometimes they came out on day 7 or 8. It all depended on where the devs put it in the tech tree. Now moving on to day 6, we don't see anything new being researched unless something from day 5 is carried over into this day. Day 7 in Foxhole is another big research day. On day 7 we see medium navy ships come out like destroyers, frigates, submarines, and the lodgy ships such as the longhook or the bluefin. Large trains also come out consistently on this day as well. So if you are a lover of all things trains, this is the day that you 
you would want to log on. Lastly, on day 7, we see anti-tank defensive pillbox structures and gas grenades unlock as well. Day 8 and 9 normally don't see many things getting researched. Sometimes random half-tracks will be researched if the devs have moved them around the tech tree. Or again, random infantry weapons may be researched during this time. On day 10 is when harvesters get unlocked. As a Logi main, I'm always counting the days down until the harvester comes out. I found through my research that this day is very consistent through every war. Normally on this day, we also see light tanks from both factions get unlocked. These are the small light tanks that shoot 40mm rounds. So if you love tanking, day 10 is the day to log on. Day 11 and 12, we normally don't see anything new being researched. On day 13, I noticed almost every war we saw the Colonial Light Tank Destroyer get unlocked. I never knew this before and I thought it was very interesting that Colonials got this tank several days before the other tanks came out. On day 14, we normally don't see anything being researched here as well. Day 15 is another big research day though. During this day, we consistently see large Navy battleships come out for both sides. We also see 150mm artillery for both sides and Tier 3 facilities unlocked as well. This day also includes almost every variation of tank from both sides besides battle tanks, super heavy tanks, warden heavy tank destroyers, and the colonial bardiche. On day 16, we normally don't see any research unless something has been carried over from day 15. Day 17 is when the wardens normally get their heavy tank destroyer. The colonial bardiche is also unlocked on this day. On day 18, we consistently see 300mm artillery shells unlocked. These shells are used for storm cannons and tempest rail cannons. You now know that you have about 18 days to build your mega concrete base before it gets destroyed by a storm cannon. On day 19, we normally don't see any research from either side. Day 20 of the war is when we see battle tanks and super heavy tanks unlocked. This was very consistent over the 10 wars that I researched. And the last thing to be researched happens on day 25. On day 25, rocket platforms for nukes are unlocked and factions can start building and aiming nukes at their enemies. Let's go! Here it comes. And that's why time. There it is. I'm here. I see it. I watched it. Dude. I see it. I got to watch it. That's insane. <laughs> this has been the basic timeline for when everything gets researched in Foxhole. I know there are some players out there that sometimes only log on to Foxhole after certain things have been researched like tanks or trains. I hope this has helped give you a good idea when things come out during a Foxhole war. Now for new players, this is how you can find out what is being researched and what's currently being researched. On the map, you will want to look for an engineering center. You can go to this building and look at the current tech tree. To help items get researched or unlocked, you can head to a salvage field. At salvage fields, aluminum, iron, and copper alloys have a chance to drop. You can take these tech materials to the refinery and turn them into refined tech materials that can be submitted to the engineering center. This will allow you to build prototypes for the research, and this helps progress the research. If you find tech materials and are busy doing another task, the best thing you can do is leave the tech materials either in a nearby bunker base where other players can see them, or take them to the refinery or engineering center. If you are a new player, I would also recommend finding a more experienced player to do tech runs with. This will help give you a good idea on how the role works. One last recommendation would be to watch Freerik's guide on technology and research. This guide goes more in depth about the process for gathering and using tech materials. I will make sure to leave a link in the description below. Overall, I think our tech and research mechanic is in a pretty good spot. I don't know if there are many changes I would make to the tech tree currently besides having artillery possibly come out a day or two later. What are some changes you would like to see to the tech side of Foxhole? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and for your support. Make sure to subscribe for more Foxhole content. Remember to place those tech mats where tech runners can find them. Cheers!